Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to show you how to fit our vented modular flooring. So we've just turned up at the job. This is a single garage. The floor, as you can see, the paint's all flaking off. So we're gonna be giving it a quick clean, laying our tiles over the top, and we'll show you the whole process. First step, all we've got to do is just any big lumps on the floor, just chisel them off, get them so that the floor is as flat as you can. Obviously our tiles are really forgiving anyway, but the best thing to do is just get the, the main lumps off. Next to do is to get the floor sweep of any loose bits on the chiseling and to see if there's any loose paint and then we'll start there laying the tiles after. So we're going to be using our vented tiles. As you can see, they have male and female joints. So these tiles can be laid any way around as long as each tile goes the same way. So we've also got male and female ramps. So two different styles of ramp to accommodate for doors on any four side of the floor. So what we would normally recommend in a garage like this is starting from the this garage, we're going to start from the garage door and work backwards. So we'd recommend using the female ramp and the male tile. We'll join that together and that then means we can lay from the front backwards, nice and easy. So, as with what Harry said, as you can see, he started off with the lugs this way around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go black, gray, black, gray, all the way across with the tiles exactly the same way around. Just so when I go to backfill, it's nice and easy. So now we've laid a few tiles, we're just gonna close the door, make sure the door opens okay, and get the tiles lined up as far as we can forward, just behind the door, so we'll show you that quickly. Slide the tiles up just behind the door, get them as far up as we can. Right, so as you can see, we've done the three lines there, we've tried the door, now all we've got to do is either measure off of the walls or in between the door, depending on what centre line that we need. Right, so on this garage, what we're going to do is we're going to do it in between the door, so we have a nice centre line down the middle. What we're going to do is measure off of this reveal and off of this reveal. And that's pretty good to me. Right, so me and Harry are pretty happy with that. Um, the door's coming down quite nicely. We check the door as well. Always check the door, especially if you've got a motorised garage, because of the sensors on it. Now we're happy. The floors are lined up. We're central with where we want to be to get the tile central. And we've got ramps lined up just behind our door. So now it's time to fill out the rest of the four tiles where we can get them in. As you can see, we've now made all of the full tiles where we can in this garage. So we're now going to start going around the edges and getting all the cuts done. So we'll show you how we measure those up. As you can see, we've done all of the full tiles now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do all of our straight cuts. Now, just remember, always keep the tiles the same way around. Five mil gap against the wall. Team to do the straight cuts, you can also use a jigsaw. Uh, the thing with right, the blade so in the, the boys are going to see and cut it. What we're going to do is just install this one in here and then we'll show you the 5 mil gap. Finished it off with our PVC skirting. This is just stuck to the wall using a grab adhesive and it finishes it off really nicely, hides all the gaps. That's us all finished. We've used our black and dark grey vented tiles, skirting around the edges, and this is one of our modular storage systems the customer already had, but we just moved it and refitted it once the floor was done. So that's us all finished. If anyone would like a quote, just go to garagestyleltd.com. We've got the premium quality PVC or vented tiles, so drop us a message, we'd love to see what we can do for you. Thanks for watching today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe, we've got a lot more content coming this year.